What is the greatest guitar solo of all time? I'm sure we have strong opinions on that, viewers. Uh, I think we can all agree that it's probably Cardi B's WAP. If not that, maybe something from DJ Khaled or Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everybody thinks that the best guitar solo of all time is Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb. But is that really true? Most people haven't heard Yngwie Malmsteen's live performance of Far Beyond the Sun with the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra. This is really something, if you haven't heard it, you must check it out. Now level up your own guitar soloing skills by signing up for my free Music Theory email newsletter. It's a great deal because it's free. I don't know if you got that part. Free tabs, emphasis on the free. Uh, you get tips and tricks. Go deeper by taking my full Music Theory course. That's going to teach you more about like how to outline chord progressions and stay within a key. And then my Patreon page is the ultimate source of value. There, if you really want to become better, you can post your own videos for feedback. You get access to all of my courses and tabs. It's amazing. We can also make fun of Ingve as much as we want for his dislike of donuts. I promised myself I wouldn't mention that too late. <laughs> Ingve is a very serious professional, and he wants to be seen that way. So let's put on our cans of power, grab a snack or a drink, some WAP juice, and let's check this out. Ingve Malmsteen's Far Beyond the Sun, live with the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra. This is going to be nuts. And there he is. The Swede for Speed. I think this was filmed in the early 2000s, maybe 2004-ish. Uh, wow. Just the, the sound, the tone, how Ingve's blending with the orchestra. It's like the two are one. I mean, the two are one. They've uh, harmonized together in an amazing way. Um, I'd also love to know who wrote the arrangements for this. Uh, fantastic job. Oh, a chilling flat six degree. He's going to get his flipper finger on there. Finger the G-string a little bit. Wow, they're so in time with each other. Which is hard to do in an orchestra. super fast fills in between are sometimes a little bit out of place but I like it when Ingve slows down and plays really melodic oh man that bend it's just perfect intonation oh that sus chord pretty sus I don't know Ingve your dislike of donuts is sus Yes, we like to play a lot of notes. Just gorgeous phrasing and tone. You can really hear the beautiful chord progressions going by these neoclassical chords. Oh! Is that a Neapolitan? Flat two chord? Incredible. And again with that dominant harmony that really leaves us anticipating the one. Give it to us. Oh, deceptive resolution. Back to the five. Oh man.
This orchestra adds a lot to Ingve's music. They, they flesh out the harmony. Sometimes it's hard to hear it when Ingve's playing 666 miles an hour. Okay, here's the main theme for Far Beyond the Sun. Ingve may be at the top of his game right here throughout his entire career. He's so clean, so in control of dynamics. And listen to the orchestra. Now you can hear the chords that Ingve's outlining. How does he crank on a shaft without his guitar going out of tune? Because he doesn't have a locking tremolo system. A B section melody. I don't know, I feel like in the modern day, Yngwie's sort of gotten away a little bit from these beautiful chord progressions and melodies, and he's become a little bit more just uh, shredderific. Um, I could say the same thing about Zach Wild, which is weird. Usually it goes the other way, where it's like as you age, you slow down and get a little bit more musical. I don't know, you guys tell me your opinion. I think I've seen a single kick from Ingve. That was a close one. He started jumping around a little bit. I thought we were going to get a, a boot, but no. Listen to how in sync they are. Like playing, you guys don't understand how hard that is to be in sync with an orchestra. That is so tight. Just immaculate precision and control from Lord Ingve. And he never loses his place with those insane fills. He's just right in the pocket. Highest fret on his guitar. Give it to me, Inge. Oh! That lick right there is so cool. A pedal point lick where he's repeating some pitches, right? But then changing other notes. We call that oblique motion in counterpoint. It's a wonderful sound. Right there. Oh! Gorgeous phrases. They're going by so fast, it's a bit hard sometimes to hear them, but... Modulation. Whoa! The orchestra is holding this together with those pedal tones, the timpani, repeating themes. Oh! Another change. But Ingve's not done shredding. <laughs> the man likes to shred. Dum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, 
own picks. Don't lose your pick of destiny, Ingre. Uh-oh. Now he's eating his G-string. Just like Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> oh, there's that sus chord. Oh, diminished chord. Gorgeous. There's the F horns. We love the French horns. F stands for French horn. There they are, right there, the French horns. When you write for orchestra, you understand that the French horns are some of the coolest aspects of the orchestra because when they play at fortissimo volume or very loud, this very rich, pure distortion comes out of the horn, comes out of that F hole, and uh, it's magical. That's all I'm going to say. More diminished chords. Dissonance leads to consonance. That's such a powerful model. Hit us with the diminished sound right and then resolve it uh, with that suspended chord and then down to a major chord. It's so satisfying in classical music to hear that. Tension. Release. Tension. <laughs> Faster, faster, faster. Whoa. Is that a gong? Somebody said gongs. Gong dong. Greatest guitar solo ever. Uh -oh. Don't lose your guitar. Don't drop your axe, anyway. <laughs> Tosses his guitar side stage. Never to be seen again. There's Ingve Malmsteen's Far Beyond the Sun live with the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra. Is it the best guitar solo of all time period ever? Well, honestly, it just depends on what your background is, what you're used to listening to. Music is subjective. When we're talking about um, <laughs> what the best solo is, there is no answer to that, of course. I mean, don't crucify me. I'm just the bearer of truth here. From a personal standpoint, I will say though, that that solo by Ingve, just the whole song in general, is some of his more musical playing. Yes, there is a lot of notes, but I think he's gotten even more ridiculous uh, in the present day. Back when this was recorded in the early 2000s, he seemed to be a little bit more in tune with dynamics and musicality and expressing a clear melodic framework. The orchestra really helps bring out the harmony that we don't hear as much in his uh, studio recordings as well. Now listen up, stop, stop it. Stop fingering your G-string with no direction or guidance. You gotta sign up for my free music theory email newsletter to get you back on track. Now if you wanna really learn about musical structure, melodies, how to outline chords, neoclassical, uh, metal like Ingve was doing things like the Neapolitan chord augmented six chords then check out my full music theory course and if you want to actually put that stuff into practice sign your soul away to me on patreon you also get access to all of my courses and tabs there it's the best value now in honor of Ingve, I'm gonna go to the donut store and buy 69 donuts and eat them all Urgh. kill them all eat them all